as a living organism. The wet or dry climate that exists in places changes depending on whether new rivers are created or whether the existing ones have dried up. Apart from the rivers, the sea is also changing. Areas that are sea were dry and areas that are land were once sea. This phenomenon follows a regular periodicity. This is because there is a basic principle followed with which the interior of the earth functions, works in a similar way as the plants or animals. In other words, it has periods of young and periods of old age. Only in contrast to plants and to animals, these changes do not concern the whole body, earth, but local continents and regions. Independent areas go through a period of young or old age, going through all the stages. The reason is that some areas heat up a lot, others a little, and others not at all, fact that generally changes. This is because we have the movement of the magnetic north, which as it moves takes with it the climatic zones created by the movement of the sun centered on the magnetic north. So each part of the Earth has a different dynamic in terms of how old or young it is. For example, we have the aging of an area during its drying since it entered a warmer climate zone due to the movement of the magnetic north. Also, as rivers are lost and new rivers are created, the shores of the seas are shifting. Lakes and water areas are transformed into marshy areas which in turn are turned into fertile valleys and then into dry areas. The geological changes that affect the evolution of these natural phenomena occur very slowly and gradually. The time it takes to perceive these changes is enormous and so it is not perceived by humans to realize these changes. A complete cycle of these changes throughout the Earth has a period of 26,000 years, a period of time also called the Great One Circle, the Celestial Year. During this time, the magnetic north makes a complete rotation, carrying with it the climatic zones, creating in different parts of the Earth different soil dynamics in terms of youth or aging because the geology of individual soils is affected by those of climate change. To think about how gradually these changes take place is enough to think about the time it takes the whole process for a complete cycle. Ground Epochs As the magnetic north moves and takes with it the climatic zones, it creates seasons for the soils all over the earth. So there are areas where at the moment they have soil season in spring, summer, autumn and winter. What season its ground will have has to do with whether the magnetic north passed through there or whether it is going to pass in the future. Also, at what distance is it from the circle where the magnetic north turns? Ground epochs are making every ground different and they are repeated every 26,000 years for the same place. So, each place has its own different soil season. Glaciers and floods do not occur in the same places because the magnetic north is moving, making the big cycle taking with it the climate zones. Floods and glaciers last a long time for one place in the big winter of the ground epochs 
and feed the soils to become sources in the future when this ground be in spring around epoch and weather conditions become good again. Also, it is not possible for an area to have the same presence of the liquid element for a long time. In conclusion, these geological changes, after a long time, change all the areas from land to sea and vice versa throughout the earth. Thus, its ground goes through all its seasons and situations, making the terrain of earth changing at a very slow speed. We live in a bigger world with hidden continents. Some of them have a good climate for living and some others do not. Climate conditions are changing because of the motion of the magnetic north that takes with it all the climate zones.